Hi, welcome to BIRCH clustering feature creation. Here, the clustering feature will contain the summary statistics like radius value diameter to denote the data points information. So, it will give you the pattern uh, of the given uh, data points. So, here, which is uh, summarizing the large data sets into smaller uh, cluster features with the dense regions. So here the uh, clustering feature is having the uh, three values, number of data points and uh, linear sum of the data points and uh, squared sum of the given data points. So here the formula is given for all three terms. So now the number of data points are uh, five and the linear sum is the total of this uh, x coordinate is 16, the total of this y coordinate is uh, 30 and here this is 190 right so here uh, the squared sum of this uh, x is 54 the squared sum of y is 190 now when we are um, applying this uh, brch algorithm uh, we have to consider the t that means number of entries allowed to the each cluster so here the diameter size of the cluster size of the cluster so the size of the cluster will be determined by using the t right and branching factor which is uh, defining the number of internal nodes per parent suppose if it is the parent so here the branching factor equal to Two because uh, it is uh, the parent is allowed to have only two children child one and child two so only two clusters are allowed to this particular parent and L is denoting the maximum number of clustering feature entries per leaf node so here the uh, leaf node is this one so how many data points are allowed to have this cluster suppose two data points means you may have data point one data point two only two data points allowed to each cluster if l equal to two so based on that we will create clustering feature tree uh, with height balanced approach so here uh, each leaf node contains subcluster so you look at that so this is uh, the leaf node here which is having the subcluster the cf tree learns the pattern from given data point that means it gathers necessary information of a given data point for further hierarchical clustering for each data point compare the location of the data point with the location of each cluster features in the root node using linear sum or mean of that cluster feature so if suppose if you are adding the data point x3 so when you are adding the x3 you have to check that locations it will have the linear sum for example linear sum may be a 3 comma 9 and uh, here the already each cluster feature having its uh, own linear sum suppose this cluster feature is having linear sum uh, uh, 3 comma 8 then it is having uh, I mean uh, close to this 3 comma 9 suppose if it if it is having uh, 5 comma uh, 15 then this is uh, more distance to this 5 comma 15 so it will consider this cluster feature to add uh, I mean to combine with this leaf node so that's what given here pass that incoming data point to the root node that is closest to the incoming data point so here root node is the 3 comma 8 the given data point new data point is the 3 comma 9 so which is closest uh, than this 5 comma 15 so this will be added into this 3 comma 8 so when the data point descending down to the non-leaf child nodes of the root node so once it is closest to this clustering feature it will uh, pass to uh, towards down to this non-leaf node so here when it is passing to this non-leaf node again it will uh, here uh, it is having uh, two cluster features subcluster features then again here three comma uh, eight uh, may be here and here it may be a four comma two so now the three comma nine again it will be checked with this uh, two cluster features then whichever is closest to this so this one is closest than this one so it will uh, uh, adding into this particular non-leaf node clustering feature so three comma nine will be added into this 
clustering feature one so now again the this this clustering uh, this data point will move into this leaf node right so here when it is uh, descending down moving down to the leaf child nodes of the non leaf node so this is the child node to this non leaf node right so when it is moving down we have to compare the location of data point with the location of each leaf so here we are having some number of leaf nodes here so we have to check with this each leaf node right when it is uh, close to that uh, incoming data point then we can add that into that particular leaf so this is the way to create the clustering feature here when you are performing one of the below points so if the radius of the chosen leaf including the new data point does not uh, um, here uh, does not have the threshold when it is not exceeds the threshold value then we can add into that same leaf add into that same leaf the leaf and its parent of the cfs are updated to account the for the new data point suppose here when you are adding the x5 so we, it will check with the parents cluster feature and the uh, uh, number of uh, cluster uh, uh, leaf nodes allowed into the cluster so it is the here l equal to 5 so l equal to 5 in the sense it will access this uh, data point so here the 3 comma 8 is assigned into the leaf node 1 so if the radius of the chosen leaf node including the new data point exceeds the threshold value suppose the threshold value is exceeded right then this threshold value right the so now the new leaf node is formed that is consisting of new data points so you look at that when you are applying uh, moving the six so six is going to be checked with this clustering feature uh, clustering feature one in the clustering feature one already it crosses the threshold value so in this threshold value if it is crossed then we have to create one more cluster feature that cluster feature is having only single data point so this is new leaf node is created so here for the incoming new data point a uh, new leaf node is created uh, only with that uh, new data point and the parent cfc is also updated after updating this one this parent cf clustering feature uh, also updated with the linear sum and squared sum for new data point when uh, the point four point b is uh, executing the maximum number of leaves are already in the leaf node uh, is split into the two uh, two leaf nodes that means here for example uh, suppose when we are adding the node x7 when we are adding the node x7 so that is uh, checking with a cluster feature 1 and cluster feature 2 so cluster feature 1 and 2 which is closest to this uh, new data point so new data point you assume closest to the cluster feature 1 in the cluster feature 1 we are going to add this by moving towards down so x6 will be going to be added here but x7 x7 is going to be added here when you are adding the x7 it is cross crossing the threshold value when it is crossing the threshold value uh, uh, that uh, l equal to 5 then we have to move that x7 into new leaf node so this node will be uh, splitted into new leaves right if the parent is full here if the parent is full at this point you look at that now we have we have added nine data points so cluster feature two is having four data points cluster feature one is having five data points i am going to add x10 when you are adding the x10 it it is uh, closest to the clustering feature one you assume x10 is closest to the clustering feature 1 then cluster feature 2 now x6 is to be added in the leaf node of this cluster feature right but already it crossed the uh, threshold value number of cluster data points in the leaf so 5 so we have to split this when you are splitting this then uh, here one more leaf node will become right one more leaf node newly created 
for the cluster feature one so here for the x you will create a cluster a new new leaf node when you're adding the new leaf node you see this this internal node this internal node is having three branching factor okay the branching branching factor one branching factor two branching branch three so three tiles are there but here branching factor also one of the hyper parameter here suppose if our branching factor is two right that means our parent each in each parent should have only two children it should not have more than two so when the uh, branching factor is two it is uh, crossing that limit so we have to make another branch so here for this node x10 okay so x10 so this is x10 okay for the x10 the, we are going to uh, create new leaf node with new branch of the this grandparent so we are creating new branch to the grandparent here then we are adding only that x10 as a new leaf node with the new clustering feature 3 so now the clustering feature 3 which is new internal node new internal node so this is the parent to this leaf node x10 so when it is uh full parent is full we have to split the parent node by using the branching factor right the most distant leaf nodes uh clustering features are used as a leaf seeds with the remaining cluster features that is assigned to whichever leaf node is closer that means whenever you are adding the leaf node so that will be checked with each and every uh, clustering features then whichever uh, uh, no, clustering feature is close to that newly adding data point then that will be added into that particular leaf node so like this we have to apply the barch algorithm to form the clustering feature so finally we will get the uh, clustering feature tree in this structure observe the radius of the cluster may be calculated even without knowing the number of data points in the given data set once we have got count and also linear sum ss that means that clustering feature uh, summary okay clustering feature summary will have uh, number of data points linear sum and uh, squared sum triples so based upon that we can apply the uh, we can calculate the radius of the cluster. This allows BARCH to evaluate whether a given data point belongs to particular subcluster without scanning the original the entire data set. For storing all the data points in the clustering feature tree, it uses limited memory even for the given large data set during training phase if it goes out of the memory that means uh, it is going out of the primary memory we can increase the threshold value and repeat the process when you are having more number of clusters there is the possibility of um, uh, possibility of goes out of the memory so when you are increasing the threshold value number of data points for the cluster and when you are uh, uh, diameter size uh, for the cluster and the number of uh, entries for the clustering feature branching factor when you are increasing the number of clusters will be reduced so automatically uh, you can repeat the process by increasing the uh, threshold value thanks for watching